you were wanting to get back on the, the winning bus against the team that's just done you, uh, Tuesday's the way to do it. Yeah, I'm glad we're getting an opportunity quickly because it was a sore one. Um, I think it was a case where it was a pivotal point in the season where we could be really in the... Even if we beat, go and beat Hamilton tomorrow, we could have been thinking title, but well, we are now in a place where we're just making sure that we're going to try and get in the playoffs. That's where we are. Um, it was a pivotal moment. It was a hard one for the boys. It was a hard one for me and my, and my staff. But there was a lot of, uh, for half an hour, I think we took the Livingston performance right into this game and we get beat 3-0 because we sold a bad goal and it drained the players within the game. That's, just, that's as simple as that. So yeah, we want to go on, uh, get back to winning ways and quickly. You get that sliding doors moments in, in games where just, you know, if it goes for you one way, if it goes for you another way. In seasons, in, in seasons. Chris, and yeah, you're right in that game, it was it was a hard one, but we got them on Sunday, we got them going again, and we're going to be ready for Tuesday, we need to just keep plugging and making sure we're grafting to, to get three points and, and get the momentum going again. You see from all of the clubs in the division, it's been really hard for even those pressing for the title like yourselves to put even three, three games on the bounce uh, together as a run, because nine points will elevate you three or four places in this division and that's always kind of what you need to go on to now we'd like to but we, we just need the first three points that's the way we're looking at it you, you start looking and saying oh we'll win the next three it's difficult as you say in this league Morton have had a wee run again after losing a few it's propelled them into the playoff spots um, Hamilton are fighting for their lives it'll be some game tomorrow night uh, a game I'm looking forward to because we had so much of the game I've watched it back again and we just let ourselves down with the ball at times and Hamilton did a number on us again. That's what I felt during the game. Now, their game plan, we've got to credit Johnny's players. They worked ever so hard. They waited to spring on us and they did that and they took their chances. They took their one chance that really deflated us. But we've got to be more careful on the ball because we'd so much it, we'd so much good play and I don't want to let just that one goal kind of ruin what we built so far that's the way I feel yeah I mean I think that that's it you, you can understand that confidence could be take a dent in the game but I wouldn't imagine that coming into this fresh on Tuesday the players confidence will be dented they'll be wanting to write that and, and show what a good team they are yeah I want I want them to do the same again but just be more careful on the ball because we we created a few opportunities we missed the big chance that might have made Hamilton have to change but then we have to chase. And that was the story of the match. Yeah, we lost the other two goals because we're on the chase. But there were so many good things in the game that I want to make sure that, yeah, we've got to have... Sometimes you've got to step out of the situation to look in and say, my team are playing well. We, we definitely took the, the Livy bounce into the game. We took the game to Hamilton. We just made a mistake at a vital time just after half time. I don't want to take away the good things for the boys, but we have to be more careful on the ball and no hand teams where they want to be. Because Hamilton wanted that goal to sit in, to spring, to give something to defend. They did it brilliantly, I've got to credit them, but we want to make them think about change and having to uh, change for us and open up a wee bit and then we would get them again. So it'll be a good game. I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's, it's a blow, but we go again. Now, I'm sure you were asked about this last week, but I missed you, unfortunately. So just a more broad one for me. You've got players coming back now. The, the competition for places is increasing. It's really the perfect time of the season for that to actually happen for you. And hopefully, more options to come as well before, before the end of May. Yeah, we've been saying this for weeks, so it's now getting them the game time. Yeah, I've got Allardyce... Um, the game time again, I've got Cammy Harper the game time again, it's about getting Robbie Dees and Ozzy Samuels, I've got Ozzy some on Saturday, and I liked to have got Dees on, but we were chasing the game, um, I think it'll be beneficial to Robbie, because he has obviously broke his leg, and um, we've got to make sure we're doing the right thing with him, but I'm hoping to get him game time in the, the next seven days, whether it be on the pitch, uh, in the first team, or away from it, like a reserve game that we're, we're going to set up and get minutes. We have to get minutes until. Um, can't wait to have them back. 
so I'll be picking the right times to put them in. I would have loved to have had them 15, 20 minutes by now, but it's not quite worked out that way. Best of luck Cheers. tomorrow night. Cheers, Chris. Great for you. Well, is it, is it a, a change of mentality there in terms of teams that come and sit in against us? Because obviously when we're away from home, we seem to obviously have more involved, teams are more expressed to, we get in behind them. Is it more let the boys know, like, as you said, bide your time and, and play them rather than just play the situation? Bide your time, but make sure you're you're doing the basics right on the ball. It's moving it qu- even quicker than what you do. We, away from home, yeah, teams are more expansive. You can get them. At home, teams are frustrating us. But I think you have to move the ball even quicker then. And we did. I thought we started well. But then you've got to be careful with it because they're waiting for you to make a mistake. And that's what we did. And we get punished. And there's a lot of the goals just now when we're given a slack pass that the ball's ending up on net. Um, I'm no. You can't do anything about that. I'm, I could ask them to be less expansive at home because, but we need to try and take the game to teams. So I want to do that. But if if we're more careful, we won't, don't give away in silly positions and crucial positions. Then we won't lose the goals. But my word, every time we give it away, Stevie, especially at home, we're getting punished. Huh? Queens Park, Morton, Saturday. So is that a positive then that maybe the next couple of games are away from home in the league before the Kelly game in terms of teams that are probably going to come out by the next three games aren't they away from home so is that a positive I suppose in terms of maybe getting You can look at it as a positive because we've had good, better results away from home but we have to learn how to make sure we, we break teams down get our goal at the right times we all saw it we all saw the chance we had we had a great chance we had another couple as far as even in the first minute when Scott Allardyce hit a shot and, it, and the goalie saved it. So if we get the breakthrough at the right times, we ask the other team the question at home. They come to frustrate, Morton did it, uh, Hamilton did it. We've got to find a way. They're, they're good, well-organised teams. and uh, But when we're trying to find that way, we can't be slacking possession. And that's exactly what we've been. And it, and it flattens you. And I can see it with the players. I try to get them going. But I'm not going to be doom and gloom about it because... There was so much good going into the game and for the first 30 minutes, I mean, then we did a couple of wee things, but the first half even, if you want to call it, I was pretty pleased. So we've given away a, 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 a goal that floored us, but then we've got to handle it better mentally as well, but we didn't. So we've got to find ways, Stevie, but maybe away from home we're getting better results. I'm not sure it's a positive because I like playing at home. I like to give the fans something to, to shout about and although we could beat 3-0, I thought it was harsh on us, I really did. No, I agree, and obviously, every game's a must win now, obviously, but it is, tomorrow it's imperative we get the three points ahead of, obviously, these other two tough away games Saturday and Saturday. I would like to, I'd love to, you know that, we've got to get back in the, the playoff mix, that's what, that's our aim. Now, it can happen Saturday, it can happen, sorry, Tuesday, it can happen Saturday, but we'll, I'm sure we'll clock back. I'm sure we will because I know my team are good enough. We've just got to be better in possession and, and no slack and I think we'll, we'll be fine. I really do. I really believe that. There's so much good in my team um, and other managers know we're a good team but we've got to do our bit and just make sure we're no slack. That's where we're at just now. Um, but listen, we keep going. That's the message. I think love tomorrow, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Hi Billy, the results at the weekend, uh, Partick beating Air, Morton beating Dundee, and Queen's Park beating Rafe. It doesn't dampen any hopes of promotion, you know, losing to Hamilton on Saturday. Queen's, the Queen's, Queen's, Park up, drew, so. Queen's Park drew with Rafe, Will. Aye, mm, no, Queen's Park Rafe, yes. Aye, I was just saying, I, th- I thought you said they beat, they beat them, but um, listen, it, it, that's the way it goes, it swings back and forth some weeks, some weeks we get a good result. We just need to get a result and make sure we're, we're still there because there's no much between us and fourth. And that's our aim, that's our objective now. And it's going to be tougher now because we've lost the Hamilton game. Stevie's asking a question there, like, we, not, we need three points, yeah we do, but so did Hamilton, so it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but um, if we take care of the ball better in the Hamilton game tomorrow night, and, and vital times in the match, We'll be fine. We'll be fine. So fourth is the objective for the end of the season, yeah? Just, playoffs. Just playoffs just now. Playoffs just now. 
good man. Best luck, Billy. Cheers. Cheers, Will. Are you sort of relishing the, the chance to get such a, a quick crack at Hamilton again, Billy? You know, just after you know the the manner, I suppose, of the. the yeah, and they always say if you if you got a game coming around quickly, and that's what I feel with this one because with some. We were really good in the game, and then even at one 0 down with Danny Devine's header, where the goalie had a great save, so the boys were flat after it, and I can understand why. Um, but we knew we gave so much to the match; we we were we we didn't really deserve to get beat three 0 but we did. So you take it in the chin and make sure, as I say, you don't hand or gift teams opportunities to to get themselves, to give them a lift. I felt as if we are handing teams like that. I would love, love us, and we've done it in certain games, where we give ourselves a lift and we score within a game, you see we go on and really take confidence for it, from it. That's what I want from my team tomorrow night. Thanks, Billy. Right, Andy, boy. Are you, as you were, Billy, team-wise? Yeah, we've got... One wee niggle, but I think it'll be okay. Um, I'm not going to name them, but uh, yeah, it'll be, be similar. Similar, we've not picked up an injury within the game, so that's good. Um, yeah. So, yeah, a full full squad to choose from. So, now look, healthy when it comes to that, Alistair. Yeah, good stuff.